All right, hey everybody, take three. Todd here, itinerant. Um, uh, been away a little bit, had a major life event happen. I'll probably do another video on that, just talk about that a little bit. Uh, but uh, in the meantime, I have received some topside minis. When I um, traded slash gave slash whatever, um, Matt from Rocky's War Room, my um, uh, one three thousandths uh, naval miniatures, I knew at some point I'd get some of these just so I'd have the opportunity to play some naval games again. Of course, I saw uh, Midway and, you know, I was like, oh, well, I kind of want to try that again. I never did Pacific Battles, but kind of into the Atlantic, Mediterranean type of action um, using the naval thunder rules. So, so I ordered some of these, and I got them in, and I ordered a few sets, so I knew I'd go back and use these uh, table flats, what they're called, so they're just stickered, but they got the name of the ship on it, and um, the name, and the nuff, and the kind of the class, and then the, obviously the nationality, and these are stickers, and I got a bunch, a few of them. Scrapsby, Ajax, Sydney, I'm not going to try to pronounce, Ilax, Hero, some Destroyers, uh, some more Destroyers, Destroyers, lots of Destroyers. So what I did is I just picked a couple sets, like a $4 set and a $3 set um, to, oh, that's funny. I was like, oh, I'm upside down, no, I'm not, anyway, both. So what I did is I ordered a couple of sets. Um, and I ordered the Cape Bond battle set. Oh, Cape Bond, Cape Spada, a Havoc, um, because that was in one of the battles according to Naval Thunder. River Plate or Platte battle set. And then I ordered his, um, via PDF, the uh, kind of summary of the battles. These and like 14 others. Uh, that he had in a Kickstarter or something. So, yeah, my total price for shipping and tax, well, no tax, shipping was $17.20. So $17, I got the three battles and one blue ship. And I think he actually sent me an extra ship. That I don't, it's not on the order here, so I'm sure he just printed it out because it's there. But what uh, comes also with these, they're very well printed. I mean, it's very nice paper here and printing. I mean, and the colors are really, really good on them. I think. Um, nice details on the drawing. But they come with these wood blocks. And these are the right size to fit that Cumberland. They're all the right size. And it's just like the plywood bases that I put my World War, you know, World War II uh, combat on. Or, uh, so let me uh, put a couple of them on and we'll, let's talk about it after I do that. Okay, and I've got a couple done there. Look good. They're there on the table. I was about to say choo-choo. That's the wrong kind of thing. That's a train. I'm not playing a train game. But anyway, so British and French. Oh, shiplax, shiplax. Now, the thing is with this, it's a bigger scale, as you can see. Look at that ship. And on an 8 by 4 by 6 it's pretty big. So these bigger battles, you know, Maybe a problem. I just got small battle ones. It'd probably be fine. Works fine on this eight by six, but it is bigger, so the scale might bother people. You know, shooting, but it's a naval game. And you're abstracting anyway, so deal. Now it's not as quite as simple as I thought. You do need to cut it out on the black lines. He probably says that on his site. He gives instructions. Um, I was going to do a quick video and show me. It's it's basically cut with a straight edge. You know, cut, 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 and then apply it carefully. That's the only thing is applying it, you know, making sure you get it on straight and you don't have wrinkles and stuff. And I use a cloth to kind of press it down and stuff, not, not my whole finger like I just did there. So I started smaller so I didn't mess this one up. But you got that, that you got to line it up, make sure you're, then you're holding it and making sure you're not sticking it with your fingers and stuff. Um, and like you said, if you get a lot extra over, like I, you can see some there, some wood. But... Anyway, I'll do a couple more, but that's it. I, I think they're cool. Um, it'll work for me because as little as I play a uh, naval war game, and I would be proud um, to, you know, play a game with somebody with this. Um, yeah, so tabletop mini. Um, nope, not tabletop. Top side, like top side of a ship. Top side minis. 
Com. You can see all the different battles he's got. You can buy battles or just like the Atlantic Fleet. Um, they get up to like a hundred and some dollars because you get a ton of them. Um, but trust me, that little bit of cutting uh, was done way faster than priming and painting a mini. Now I'm not saying this beats a mini. Minis override these 100%. But I'm not going to play it enough and I don't want to take the time to do it. So that's that. Um, I guess you could also finally, you could probably put a matte coat. I'm a little nervous about that. I might try one and see. Um, but I, again, I probably won't play it enough. The cool thing is they can all stack up and then that's storage. So, all right, that's that. Thanks a lot all. Topside Minis, uh, Naval Thunder by Steel Dreadnought. Dread, dread, dreadnought. And uh, that's on Wargame Vault. Um, and then he does have some uh, rules in the, um, in the game. In the topside menu, so you can find some rules here you have to buy. All right, that's that. We'll see you. Bye.